Hi everybody and welcome back to another Cooler Master video. Today I'm going to show you our new EATX Full Tower Behemoth, the C700M. So you can see that this guy is a Cosmos and you can see it through the casted aluminum handlebars and the dual curved TG side panel. Actually, this time on the side panel we have a way lighter tint compared to the P version for a better view of your system. This guy is packed with feature and starting from the I.O. module we find 4 USB 3.0 ports and one Type-C 3.1 Gen 2 port. On the left side we find a fan controller with a dual action button and on the right side we find the same dual action button but for the ARGB features. Below all of this we find the usual Cooler Master Shape power button, a reset button, an HDD LED and two jacks. One is dedicated to the mic and one is a four pulse jack. The four pulse jack allows you to use an headset, especially gaming headsets with a single connector for both the mic and the earphones. As you can see on the outside of the C700M, we have an awesome brushed anodized aluminum paneling. Both the top and the front can be removed. And what is special about this design is that if you remove the front door, you reveal a secondary panel which is made out of completely unrestricted mesh. So if you want to go for full ventilation inside the system, you can just use that one. Also, another feature of the outside is that we have two ARGB light strips that run for the whole perimeter of the chassis. And the light effect can be controlled both through software by the motherboard or through the included controller. So now let me turn this puppy over, let me take off the panels and yeah, I can show you some cool stuff. Okay, so the controller is located at the center of the system and this is because from every point of the case you can reach it without any effort and as you can see it's a pretty beefy design. This is due to the high expandability of this controller. We have six channels for a fence that can be doubled or tripled with uh, extensions and we have also four channels for ARGB lighting. As you can imagine, this amount of features requires a lot of power and this is the reason why we included a Molex controller and not a SATA one because a Molex controller is designed to bring more wattage at a constant high load. The unit is located on top of one of the two SSD pockets and if we take a look back at the overall back part of the case we see that the cable management is vastly improved. We have 4 cm of clearance between the motherboard tray and the panel and the inclusion of our redesigned cable clips which are inspired by server grade cable management solutions. Basically this new design allows you to work in a smart way where you can prioritize the cables and fix in position the ones that you use less often while you're working on the cable management of the system. Once you have done the cable management of the C700M, you can also decide to hide it because we include a metal cable cover to cover this part, which now I'm going to remove and I'm going to show you some other features that uh, help you uh, with cable management on the other side and also the modular system behind it. To detach it, there are one, two, three, four screws that you can just take out with a screwdriver and the whole unit comes out. This is the HDD bracket. On one side we find the clips that I mentioned before and on the other one we find the M port which is our modular mounting system. The M port basically allows us and the users to, to mount every accessory that they want or even like self-made parts. As you can see here we got two of the three included little cable covers and yes they allow you to hide the cables that are mounted behind on the clips and also they uh, provide you with a mounting point for one SSD each and rails for your water cooling pump or your water cooling tank. On top of them we find two of the five HDD caddies included and actually if you want to go crazy with storage you can just remove all the little covers here and mount up to 12 HDDs on the bracket itself. So let me put this to the side now, let me put the screws on the side as well and let me turn the system. Okay, so as I mentioned before, these little covers can be unmounted from the HDD brackets and they can be mounted on top of the PSU mid plate, which has the M port as well. And another cool thing that can be mounted on both is our new modular GPU holder. This accessory is very, very cool because not only is using the M port system as well, so you can decide the exact position of it, but you can also decide at what angle you want to showcase your GPU with. 
And actually, once you find the perfect position for your GPU, you can lock it in place with the included screw on the side, so your GPU is completely secured. And I can already hear the question about how to connect the GPU to the display, but we have one and two rubber grommets on the back panel that you can use to insert your display cable and connect it to your card. And yes, we do include a riser cable with this chassis, it's a 40cm one, shielded, so out of the box you can already start to explore with some crazy layout. And speaking of crazy stuff, let's talk about water cooling, because here water cooling potential is ginormous. So let me take out the top panel, like this, and the front grille, like this. Okay, so here, as you can see, we have one of the two included 420mm radiator brackets that you can actually use even sandwiched with fans on one side and the radiator on the other to achieve up to 10cm of clearance for your push-pull configuration. These brackets can be detached and can be mounted on top, front and even bottom of the chassis if you want to go for a chimney layout. And yes, these two brackets are secured with screws and they are the same screws that are used throughout the whole system. So if you happen to lose them, don't worry, just go in the accessory box that is included with the chassis, pick a couple of them up and just replace them. Now, let me get back to the PSU cover one second, because actually this is a very interesting design. The mid plate on top of the PSU cover where the M port is, is actually detachable from this part. And let me show you how. Basically, we have one screw in the back and then we slide it out. So, there we go. As mentioned, this is the M port and here, as you can see, we got completely open ventilation. Why? Because if we decide to place a radiator in the lower compartment, we don't choke it. And if we also decide to move this in other parts of our chassis, we can still maintain ventilation from the front and from the top. So let me put this now to the side and let me detach the PSU cover. Okay, so here we go. This is the PSU cover, but it's not only a PSU cover. Why? Because as you can see, the frame is completely squared, so we can decide where to put it and for what purpose we want to use it. Because of the symmetry, everything can be placed on each edge on our frame and on both sides of our frame. So it's not only rotatable and invertible, it's actually a, a kind of a playground, it's a sandbox case. This is why mothers love it so much. To enhance this kind of modularity, especially to allow you to move the motherboard wherever you want, we also include one thing in the box, which is an alternative uh, back panel that can be mounted here instead of this one. And basically when you have the motherboard in a chimney layout, so with the ports on top or at the bottom, you can actually use to completely seal your system to maintain completely open ventilation. And still you have two rubber grommets for your GPU cables, for uh, your motherboard cables, and for whatever else you want. So, now that we have undressed the C700M, we're ready to explore some new exotic layouts. But this will be done in the part two of this video, which will be focusing on uh, something that you have already seen and probably something that you have never seen before. So be sure to subscribe to our channel, click on the notification bell to actually receive a notification of when this video will be uploaded. And as always, if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for what you want to see in the part two of this video, just write us in the comments. And for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in the next one.